Today I'll be reviewing for you the Edgar's Edge Grooming Cream from Rascal. And this is a new brand for us here on the channel, but in chatting with their owner and looking over their site a little bit, I was quite drawn in by the brand and the whole vibe that they were setting up here. I love the whole thing on their site about a rascal never needs to show control in order to maintain it. And how true the statement is that a gentleman is very much equal parts mischief and charm. I just love that. I absolutely love that. And today, once again, we're looking at their top seller, the Edgar's Edge Grooming Cream. So let's Let's start the clock, five minutes, you guys know the drill. Here we go. And uh, according to the brand, the Edgar's Edge Grooming Cream brings together the styling benefits of a little chaos and a little control. And according to their site, this water-based cream officially offers a medium hold with medium shine and hair health abilities built into the formula. Price-wise, we are looking at $25 for 3.4 ounces. Moving over to the scent now, I don't know what it is specifically. It's not listed on their site, but to me, it's a very nice and fresh cologne. I mean, I'm no expert on fragrances, but the, the terms light and bright right to really come to my mind when I smell this. Looking inside the jar here now, we have a nice and creamy paste here. It's like one level above lotion for me. It's very creamy, very slick, and in the hand, it's actually very soft too, which is quite nice. And when you break it down, there's not much there in the form of stickiness or tack, at least at the beginning, because as the product begins to settle in my hands, I can feel a bit of that tack start to come out, but it's, you know, it's really nothing intense. Moving straight over to the styling test now, I'm going to be using it as directed on fully washed and blow dried hair and the thing I noticed about this one as I put it into my hair was you need to almost mess with it a little longer than you might usually with a product because you got that kind of delayed stickiness intact that comes in after you've had it in your hands for a little bit so you need to mess with it a little bit in your hair in order to get that to come out. I do think on the flip side though it does give you plenty of time to really get it worked into your hair and start fully trying to get your style accomplished and as I do that of course you can probably tell on camera it's quite light in my hair it's not commanding a shape or taking over completely. It's very free flowing, very natural with a small helping of control, even after using three scoops. I mean, I was thinking that it would change after three scoops. And I do think the level of overall hold and control does change a tiny bit. It's very minimal though, if anything, you, you can see it shaping up just a little bit, but it's just a very light, not very invasive product. It's just not very intense. Now let's check out the final style eight hours into the day. We got something partially expected and partially unexpected. I think it feels super light, soft in the hair. That's what I was kind of expecting, but there's still a shape being held and that's what I was not expecting. I was expecting it to totally fall apart and fall down, but it's actually still holding somewhat of a shape, which I think is something that should be noted as a big positive or area of interest for anyone considering this cream. I mean, I think considering what it brought to the table, this actually did pretty well in this test. Moving over to the washout now, this was super easy. Straight up water rinse, nothing else to report there other than a nice soft feeling in both the hair and my hair hands, which is always a welcome surprise. Overall here, bringing it all together, this was a fun change of pace for me. Going from, you know, pedal to the metal, intense hold for weeks, you know, products that are just, you know, high hold, tacky, sticky, dry, you know, doing nothing but those for just weeks and months on end. It's great. I love those products, but it's also nice to see a different side of the styling coin, something that's lighter and more natural. And this was exactly that. This here for me presented itself as a light product, maybe the light end of medium, but for sure not a full medium hold. In fact, that's the only criticism I have on this one. I would have liked just even a small helping of increased hold. But other than that, it was a very pleasant experience. And I think actually you folks with shorter hairstyles or, or even thin or fine hair should really have this cream on your radar. I think you guys are going to have much different results than what I have. And I think this one might be something you guys would really enjoy. In the end, overall, this was a good experience for me. And I would recommend you give this one a look if you are in the market for something new. But as always, the final verdict is up to you. And if you'd like to check this out for yourself, a link will be in the description down below. That, though, is it for this review. That's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for checking this out with me. Make sure you do the big three for me. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, take it easy. I'll see you next time.